Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. On the last episode, we unlocked the next door up on this great set of stairs. And in this episode, you may notice that, well... Since we've gone through all of the DLC costumes, I think it's about time that we finally make our way through all of the regular costumes that you can get in the game. And I think starting with swimsuit costumes is the best way to start, don't you think? Especially considering it's so hot, we're in a pyramid, we're in the desert, it's, it's you know, sort of reasonable wear. Actually, I can't actually remember if these are DLC costumes or not, in all honesty. They might be, they might be not. But whatever, we're wearing them anyway, because apparently I have no shame. So, looks like we got another save room right here. Let's unlock it, and then we'll try this and open up one. the next door. And then depending on how good our um, progress is, maybe we'll unlock some more doors. Looking good, Arn. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Also, Morgana, you don't have swimsuit costume because you're a cat, and apparently cats can't, ha can't have swimsuit costumes. I have no idea what you're wearing, buddy, but that is not a swimsuit costume. Ready? Okay, what's the program, Yusuke? It's time to show some skin. Ah, yeah, whatever. Let's continue. Can't wait to see how this place screws me over next. Um... A stone slab. When red and blue align, an illusion will arise. Only proper guidance shall form a path. Huh? What is it talking about? I haven't the slightest idea. It may be a hint of some kind. Uh, let me take a... Oh, oh geez. Uh, when red and blue align, an illusion will rise. Hmm. Maybe different types of light? Oh god, that's a shadow, that's a shadow! Getting dangerously close to having to use that full SP recovery item. I'm going to try and use it out as much as I can, though. Um, right, heal me up, Arn. Don't feel like using an HP recovery item this time. Alright, let's see what we got down here. Hmm. What? Can I seriously? Can I not steal from you? Huh. You're late. What taught you so long? Oh, excuse me, princess. Ah, uh, that's it. I've had it up to here with her! We're just gonna have to make do with what she's trying to show us, Ryuji. Also, this looks very, very suspicious. This looks very suspicious. Wait, there's shaking. Yep! Hey, wait. Shoot, this is bad! Get back! I'm sick of this bullshit! What the hell is she thinking? Well, looks like we can't go through that way. However, I just saw this open up. This seems to be the backside of that giant boulder trap. We should survey this place. Good idea, Yusuke. Oh god! Apparently the floor can fall away at a moment's notice. And there's a whole bunch of sarcophagi. That I can't look at. Hmm. I also see a treasure chest. Chest. Oh jeez. Why don't we open it? I would, but I'm literally afraid of the floor... Like... Decaying underneath my feet. Okay, magic ointment. I guess that's worth it. Um... Oh, man. Go for the treasure, go for the treasure, go for the treasure. Revival bead! That's very helpful. Um, right. Okay, I saw places that we can go. Apparently, we can jump up there. Hmm. Well, there's also a button over here, which I want to check out. And there's a doorway at the end of the hall. Oh my god. 
Um, right, what does button do? Actually, wait, what does, um, stone slab say? Nothing. Well, button it is. Mm. A button and a slab, huh? There's nothing visible on the slab. What do you think we should do? <sighs> this is a terrible idea. Hmm, nothing is happening. That's odd. Is it broken? Or should there be another step to this mechanism? I guess that's the only logical conclusion we can make. It's got something to do with these sarcophagi, doesn't it? Uh, it doesn't look like we can read them. Maybe they're just for decoration. Let's try checking up here. Like there's nothing. Very interesting. I guess this is just a place you can go to hide? And if that's a place I can go to hide, that makes me think that the sarcophagi are going to burst if I do anything wrong. Which is pretty terrifying. Okay, well, at least I'm ready for it just in case it does happen. Please turn around, Shadow. Don't see me. Thanking you. I'll reveal your true form. Damn, that Anubis-looking son of a bitch is really causing problems. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see what we got. Um. Oh, and I need you to do some work, please. And then, I guess we'll... I'll use my diorama. I'm very, very low on SP. Thankfully, thankfully my Neko uh, Nekio um, Shogun uh, restores SP every so often, uh, every turn. Free SP every turn, that is. So, that is very helpful. But unfortunately, it's not gonna last me through this entire dungeon. What we got here? Hey, there's a stone slab here too, but there's nothing legible inscribed on its surface. Sounds pretty useless to me. What do you want to do, Joker? Well, let's take a closer look. Ooh, it's shining. Hmm, the devices controlling the mural seem to react in a similar fashion. Uh, something showed up. It says B01010. That may be a clue of some sort. Either way, we should search to see if anything has changed. I'm guessing now I have to search the sarcophagi. Wait! W what the? So, this thing's link is to the stone slab is that powers it. Indeed. Quite the impressive contraption. Why don't we examine it closer? Hmm. B0101. One of the orbs is a different color. And now the button is working. I don't know what to look at first. Um. I don't want to press any buttons, so let's take a look at the sarcophagi. Seems the hologram's coming from this coffin. Should we try fiddling with the control panel? Uh, sure? Whoa! Ooh, it turned off! Try touching it again, Joker. I see. I see, so it's possible to turn it back on as well. It looks like we should be able to turn the holograms on or off by accessing each control panel. Do you think this is related to the code from earlier? Yes, I do. So this is the blue shining coffin. Hmm. Unlike on, um, unlike on the other one, there's no control panel here. The color of this hologram is different as well. It's blue. That might be pointing us towards what we need to do. Blue. You know, 
that sounds familiar. It was blue, zero, one, zero, one, zero. So if we're going to work on binary, zero means off and one means on. And if it's the B that it starts off with in terms of the code, it must mean the blue sarcophagi, or at least that is my logic when it comes to thinking through this puzzle. So, this should be the answer. If I deduce this correctly, that is. Hey. Huh, the slab over here is shining too. Was it not doing that earlier? It's, it is the same color as the one from further in. There must be some meaning to all this. Mm. Let me check the stone slab first. Like. Yeah, B01010. Let's try pressing the button. I am confident with my answer on this one. Yes! Ah! The door opened! I suppose this is the first step in this process. The next device must be beyond this point. By the way, what's up with these things? Are they all because of Futaba-chan's mental state? It's hard to say. But it does prove that she might not be as simple as a target as we were hoping she'd be. Hmm. I wonder about the meaning behind that stone slab as well. Wait. Hey, her path's open now. Can we keep going? That we can, Ryuji. That we can. Thank you, deductive reasoning. You have actually worked with me for once. I'll reveal your true form. Well, I have straight up no SP now, so things are about to get very interesting. If I don't sort this out. Um, right. Okay, we got a dog here. Question is, do I go straight for the soul fo food? Or do I try to use... Got some soul drops. And I really want to save that soul food if I can. I just have to try and ration it out as much as I can. Okay, I can't get you. Go, 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 don't turn around! I'll reveal your true form. Nailed it! Ooh, almost made a terrible fight uh mistake that fight. Almost used an entirely different weakness than what I was supposed to use. Which would have been bad! Also, Stamina Sash. Uh, what do you do? Gives your stamina a small boost. Plus 20 HP. Hmm. I guess that could be useful. Well, this is an ominous looking room. Human face face. I have something. I guess I had absolutely nothing. Somewhere. Uh let's see. Is okay. there any more I can steal Somewhere. from? Nope, looks like that's it. Hey! Look, there's a stone slab here too. Touching this one will probably activate it too. What do you want to do, Joker? <laughs> Touchy is good. And this one's red. Because of course it is. Woo, it lit up now, just like we were expecting. Hmm. There are red inscriptions in there this time. They say R01100 and B10011. Okay, so you do the inverse of each other. Okay. If the prior code is similar to the if this code is similar to the prior one, these would surely be hints for those buttons. To be honest, it somewhat reminds me of binary. It made sense, given Futaba-chan's hacker background. Then, well then, let's see if anything has changed. Let's. And hopefully, there won't be any shadows that have spawned. Oh, jeez! Well, okay, there weren't, there, there weren't shadows, but there was almost shish kebab. Mainly me being on the shish kebab. Whew, that was a close one. God, it stopped me, though. Ha! Look! It 
something changed in the room just like we expected. There should be some connection between that cone and what appeared on the stone slab. Alright, so. Hopefully, this slab has updated. Yes, it has. Let me take a look at it again, just to make sure. Um, so, the B... Wants me to turn off these two. And the red wants me to turn off the opposite. And I believe that's correct. I will check the slab just in case, because I don't want to make any stupid mistakes by doing this too quickly. Um, and they're not like... Um, moved or anything, so like it's not like the red red coffin is on the other side or anything, so I don't have to take that into account. Uh, let me check. Uh, oh jeez. For some reason I think there's going to be another dialogue box. Um, R01100 and B10011. Um, yeah, that looks correct to me. Okay. Granted, it was just a passing glance, but... Whoa, what's going on? This is a stronger reaction than anything up to this point. Guys, look. Are those giant boulders rolling down the corridor? Come on, man. Dude, they ain't stopping. Is this gonna be okay? Let's push it again. <sighs> that only made it worse. D do something about this, Joker! Apparently doing something constitutes when you don't know how to restart a broken computer. D did it stop? Don't tell me. Is this what the slab would have meant by former path? I guess so. Um... Let's take a look, shall we? Oh wow. God damn! Talk about a mess! It's broken. Well, I guess it would be a little more precise to say that we broke it. Hey. We can't get through like this. What are we gonna do? Perhaps we should walk over the giant boulders? Uh, let's give it a try. I guess there was a point to doing this. Wasn't for I didn't think this was going to be the solution to get past the boulders, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Um, right. So we came from that direction, right? Yeah. So that means let me just check over here. Okay, there's nothing. Let's go. Um, then we go over here, and then we jump down. I mean, all things considered, this is the first thing that we've properly broken in the palace, and it, I'm kind of amazed it took this long to do that. Ooh! You are mine! Hey, oh my, okay, okay, you're weak to... Oh, you're weak to Aha? Uh, I don't have a har attacks unless I got an item. Um, dealing bless, dealing curse, instant kill. Do it. This is worth it. Shit. Um, who's next? Morgana's next. Uh, goddamn. Uh, maybe I should use another one. Screw it. Oh come on! Alright, uh, new plan. Soul drop on me. So I can use Aha next time. Don't you dare go away. Absolutely nothing's gonna work, so we might as well just attack. I'm next. Okay. This is fine. Uh, do I have anything better? Yes, I do. Ah, <laughs> here we go. You're mine now. Give me all of the experience and money! You 
you just got by, beat by a guy in his swim shorts. Mm-hmm, good work, Morgana. Alright, so... I think it is worth getting rid of Patra. Because we have me, Patra, because Windbreak, that can be very useful. And Mataiorama! Okay. That's also another very useful skill that I want. I am definitely happy with how that turned out. Nice. All right. Should be smooth sailing from here on out. Unless anything changes, of course. Somewhere. It's like you reflect the beam over here. This is... This is the same mechanism as the one we saw before. Then we just gotta touch it and make something happen, yeah? Come on, let's try it out. Oh hey, it came on. Uh, this one's kinda hard to tell though. It must be scrambled as well. Let's use the controls to put it back together. Okay, this okay, this is way more complicated. Um I am not gonna like how this image looks, am I? Okay, that's obviously there. That's obviously there. The moon goes there. And then... This... Oh, they rotate! Okay. I got very lucky with that. That could have gone very wrong very quickly. Seems it is complete. Is she jumping in front of a car? Could this be the moment when Futaba's mother committed su suicide? Oh. Huh, another voice! Futaba, you are. died right in front of Futaba's eyes. That's horrible. So did her desire to forget those memories cause her to repress them? Maybe so. But we've unlocked another doorway. And honestly guys, I think we got enough time to do another one. So let's just move forward, shall we? Alright, it opened. That was a breeze. We're pretty far in now, right? This has to be past halfway. Yeah, the treasure is definitely close. You better be excited. You got that right, cat. This one's been a very, very long hauling one. I'm not gonna lie, but we're almost there. Let's just save very quickly, because we haven't done that in a while. And then we'll move forward. Honestly, this hasn't been that bad. I think I've only had one massive um, F up, but other than that... It has been pretty okay. And now watch how I jinxed my entire playthrough of this entire palace just by me saying that. I can feel it. Um... Right. Get whatever treasure I can before moving forward. What do we got this time? What wonderful form! Seeing such divine sculptures in person is exceedingly rare. Yeah, I guess you probably wouldn't be seeing some, anything like this shit if it, we weren't in a palace. Seriously, this almost feels like a trip abroad or something. Hey, now's not the time to get be letting your dark guard down. I can sense lots of shadows up ahead. Ugh, really? Shit. And I'm low on SP. Maybe we should... Maybe we should tag in on. Alright, before anything. 
Let me get my SP up a little bit more. There we go. Joker. Oh. I see it, Moldana. Lot treasure chest. You are mine now. Dogwatch Kimono, Black Rock, and Turquoise. Let me take a look at that Kimono. I'm guessing that will be for Arn or, Mo or, um, or Makoto. Dogwatch Kimono. That's a massive defense increase. And you resist sleep. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll give the Elysian Robe to Arn. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, everyone else has stuff that's good. So, yeah. Don't need to change anything else other than that. Alright, I see you, Shadow. I'll get to you. Let me just get this first. Revival Bead. Always very helpful. Let's take you on. Looking cool, Joker. Wasn't a problem. Especially thanks to the assist from Arn. That was really cool. And I'll be sure to put that in the recording to make sure that you, you guys saw it. Alright. Pretty simple so far. Hmm. Music would got very ominous all of a sudden. What are we getting ourselves into? Oh, Jesus Christ, this looks like a labyrinth. Hmm. Whoa, this is deep. What the heck is this? It's not a distance we'll be able to jump either. What should we do? Well, I see a door to my right, but I also see crawl space to my left. Mm. Okay, looks like this door is useless. Okay, well, that answers one question. That being which way we are going, and we are going to go this way. Alright. Man, I think I mentioned it before, but I just feel like mentioning it again. I... I really love ancient Egyptian architecture and ancient Egyptian history. It's always been something I've been truly fascinated by. It was something I've been fascinated by ever since I, um... The timing's up to you. Uh, ever since I played, uh, Age of Mythology. Even. With the Norse gods as well. Also, could this guy please go away? Really? You want to do it this way? Okay, then. I'm game. Another assist from Morgana! <laughs> you guys have decided to become very, very helpful all of a sudden. Also, you didn't die! God damn! You are annoying! And you're also put to sleep for some reason. I guess it was because of the weapon Morgana used? Hmm. Anyway, Isis leveled up! And didn't gain anything. Okay. Well, crap. I guess she gains that, so I can't complain about that. Also, I'm going to take a guess. Yep. Can't get through there. Um, right. Okay, which way do I want to go? There's... Progress, I guess, is behind me. I want to go this way, though. I want to check to see if there's any treasure. Hmm, there's a coffer guy. I see you at the end there, Doddy. Your true form. <laughs> Nothing interesting from that fight. Now let's keep going. Uh, right, so. I see button. I want to press button. Hmm, a switch. It doesn't seem as though there are any active traps at the moment, though. Let's press it. 
Hey, did something just move? I wonder what it was. It didn't feel very far away. Hmm. We've got the place at the end of the hall that we need to check. And apparently we're not going to go that way to go check it. I'll reveal your true form. Alright, all shadows are out of the way. Let's see if we can get this treasure. Knew it. Dust crusted gear. Hmm. Guess we need to go to the laundromat if we want to find out its true worth. Uh, hang on, very quickly, let me just check to see how we're doing on levels. On level 33, our next level is in 3000. Ryuji's looking like... Oh no, uh, Makoto and Ryuji looks like it, looking like they're about to level up. Okay, I want to at least... I want to see if I can get to 35 at very least, but I don't know. That is quite the goal to get to, I'm not going to lie. But it'll be use but it'll be doable if I could get you. Time to take you out. I am so glad I ran into you. Give me all of the experience. Don't know why I went for a Silence of the Lambs reference, but I guess that's what I'm, that's, I guess that's what I'm going for. That enemy was really weak. <laughs> You're right, but only because we had the right weakness for him. Slash, her, it, whatever. All right. Got another crawl space and a place we can climb up. Let me check the climb up space first. Another button. Hey, hey, there's some kind of button here. You want to push it? Ryuji, you should know by now, we press every single button that we come across. Just how the hell are you going to know what it's going to do if you don't press the button? It seems. So there was a passage hidden behind the wall. I wonder if there's a way back there. Hmm, probably if we go around. All right. Seems like a pretty simple path, all things considered. <sighs> More shadows. Of course, okay. though. Um, right. Looks like we're good in here. Do want to be careful of the shadows, though. Go, 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 go. I am ambushing you now. Took out both of them at once. Okay, Good work, team. Let's get going. All right, which way should we go? I think we should check out door number one here first. Let's see it. And it looks like we got a sarcophagus. This is strange. Hmm. This coffin has a different design than the others. Does it not make you wonder why? That is odd. Why don't we check it out? Mmm, let's do it. Whoa. Whoa, I can't believe you saw through that trick! <laughs> Child's play. W what was that? I just heard something. It opened a button in a different part. Very interesting. Question is, where did I last see sarcophagus? Hmm, I guess I saw one in here. Hello! Hmm, it looks like this is coffin is now open. Do you want to try pressing the button? Hey! Ah, it moved! Hey! Glowing orb! Haven't seen you in a while. Oh. Ah, it is that Anubis statue. I wonder if we are supposed to use this Radiant Gem somewhere. Come on, let's just take it with us. We can figure out how to use it later. Sounds like a plan. Hey. Sweet, we got it. Let's go. Hopefully it doesn't mean we'll get cursed. Yes, okay, apparently it does. 
shit, 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 shit. Gotta use this very quickly, gotta use this very quickly. Uh, where is it? It's down here. Lowering your level, lowers smoke screen. Okay. Let's do it! Uh, nice try. God, that fight was a pain. Naturally, because they increased their defense and their hit and evasion once, that meant that I could never hit them because screw my luck, I guess. All right. Let me use Diorama. God, aren't you a... You've got so much SP, I should probably... Um, let you into the group because Morgana is almost out. Um, right. Let's see. Oh, God damn it. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Come on, just turn around. Thank you every night and day. I'm not sure how the rest of the song goes. And thus the bad luck starts happening. Uh, freaking Morgana unfortunately got knocked out because of some instant death kill move. Thank you, Anubis weird looking guy whose name I cannot remember because I cannot remember the shadow name. Ah, uh, jeez. Someone will probably tell me. And correct me in the comments. Uh, finally used my snuff soul. I had to get that 50H um, SP eventually, I guess. Uh, Alright. Uh, I got the gem for you. Hey, I've seen this thing before. It looks like where we put those gems from the Dodge statues earlier. Wait, don't we have a gem now? We should try putting it in here. Let's do it. A booyah! This pathway of light is quite impressive. It seems we will be able to pass over it. It's not going to disappear while we're crossing it, right? This is a little scary. Well, let's give it a go. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I ain't complaining. Ugh, more shadows. I'll reveal your true form. Well, Harm reached level 33 and she got a new skill, which is a very weird one. It increases the chance of status effects during flu, pollen, or rain. God, instant, kill, spells, suck. Wasted a revival gem because of that, but, well, I say waste, but I guess it isn't a waste because it means... Makoto still gets the experience, but I would have rather have not used one of them. All right. Oh. Let's just open this up. Please give me another SP recovery item. Damn it. I think it's randomized as well, so I guess you could, in theory, just keep on re-rolling until you get a SP recovery item, but I'm not going to do that. Might be a safe room around here. Really? Safe room here? Huh. Well, that's actually Looks perfect like... because I'm going to end the episode off right here now. So yes, we made a lot of progress this episode. We unlocked another one of the giant doors. We're getting very dangerously low on SP once again. But we're getting near the end of the palace. So, if you liked this episode, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And on the next episode of Let's Play Persona 5, hopefully, we'll finish off Futaba's Palace. See you guys then.